Ladies and gentlemen, gamers of all ages, welcome to Let's Play. Uh, this week, we are talking about a variety of video game topics, uh, like we do every week. Let's start with what we played this week. Sorg, what would you play this week? Hi, I'm Sorg, and I'm on this podcast. I played oh. some Assassin's Oh, oh boy, that's a nice thing in the chat room. Um, I, uh, I, I, no, I went back to Assassin's Creed 2, um, so I'm, because I'm like... You know, I'm seeing the Assassin's Creed 4 trailers, and I'm like, crap, why haven't I played Assassin's Creed 3? Because I didn't finish 2! So I'm, go I'm trying to go back and do that now. Uh, so I spent spent a couple hours on that over the weekend. Um, other than that, I've been playing Angry Birds and noticing how complicated those games are getting. And how much they want me to buy stuff. Um, I don't know, I, I, I just like the old purity of... Um, you know, I, I throw a bird at some pigs and that's it. Now I have all these options and they and, and I never want to use them because I have that like, but I don't want to have them in case I want them. But then I just sit there and stack up when they give me the free prize every day. And I'm like, well, I might as well use them. But I feel like it has it has lifted the purity of my angry birds. But uh, uh, what about what about you, Riz? I am the Riz and I'm also on this podcast. Thank you, Sword. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing... Cod blops, of course. Mm -hmm. I've also been playing the challenge, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which Chachi, you're welcome. And also, I've been playing Mass Effect Three Citadel DLC. Holy crap! I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but holy crap! Yeah, I heard some of your you talking about that last night in the hangout. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Chachi, what have you been playing? Uh, I haven't really had a lot of time this past week. Um, <gasps> what are you I mean, doing on this show? As, as you guys, as you guys know, I I didn't even play Call of Duty on Friday. I went to bed. Oh. <gasps> um, yeah, we we were we missed you. Yeah. Um. So I've been playing a lot of uh, Candy Crush and uh, uh, Four Picks, One Word. Um, Which was the challenge, what if you yeah. remember. Who, who started the four picks, one word via Twitter for everybody else via the the, the account there? That's you, Riz? That was me. That was you. That was me. But uh, I, I'm up to puzzle uh, 265. 265? Wow. Yeah. I, even, I didn't even remember where I, I, I left off. I think I finally downloaded it last night, so so I'll get to I, it. I'm only at 214, <laughs> and I started it earlier than you. Well, I'm gonna yeah, play. I, I've been playing a lot. I don't even know what number I'm at. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it right now. You guys switch the show without me. Uh, I, uh, I I've made it like. Uh, there's only been like four that I couldn't get. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this one is. I I can't see. Hmm. So what's the concept here? Uh, they give there, you four, four there's pictures. Four picks and there's okay. one word. Four picks and then one word. It's so, in the yeah, title. I'm looking so. at it. It's a uh, okay. <laughs> so I have four pictures. pictures right so I need to come up with the word that 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 connects them all. Connects them all. Okay. Yes. So I have. Uh, I'm guessing mother. Uh, and I have the. Well, hey, I got a Yay, token or two. Sorry. I'm at, num I'm at number twelve. And now I'm addicted. How about you, Bobby? I'm at number twelve. <laughs> um, I did play yeah, a challenge. I'm, I'm at number twelve. Um, I had a fighting game week this week. Um, I played and and I beat Soul Calibur Five. Uh, awkward storyline. It was kind of yeah. incestuous. -y -ness. It was weird. It's Wait, did you beat the the like the classic? The main, the main story, yeah. Yeah, that thirteen something something. Yeah, yeah, sixteen oh five or something like that. Wow, that was way off. Yeah, that was that was weird. Yeah. It, it was decent, but it was just weird. Um, and the characters you unlock in it are the versions of the other characters you already have, so it was kind of like me, whatever. Um, I bought Virtual Fighter Five Final Showdown for 400 Microsoft points on on uh, Xbox Live. Played that a bit. Um, I downloaded uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC. I played that some. Um, it's, it was okay uh, for five bucks. What are you gonna What are you gonna do? Uh, and various Facebook games, as Sword can attest. If my Twitter account giving Your me away every week. portrays you. I know. I'm obsessed again with. I don't. I don't think I want Ant Man this time. I don't think I want to. No, Ant -Man. you don't Nobody, want Ant Man. Nobody wants, wants Ant, -Man. Ant Man. Ant Man doesn't even like Ant Man. But, but it's it's, it's a no. You know how much <laughs> you know how much they didn't like Ant Man in the Ultimate Universe. They replaced them with just generic people that were giant. Oh, no. Yeah. Poor Ant Man. 
<laughs> All right. Let's move on to our next segment. Uh, what should you be playing? Mm-hmm. Um, Riz, I think you have a good one this week. I do. Oh, you want me to say it? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, I just now saw the previews for Injustice Gods Among Us. And No, I think that's Gods Among Us. Uh, Gods Among Us? No, no, I think it's Gods Among Us. Go- Gods Among Us? Yes. Go- Gods. Yeah, or, or God Among Us. Gods Humongous. Gods. 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 Anyways, you were singing. <laughs> Anyways, I, I decided to go ahead and uh, pre-order my Injustice. Wow, you pre-ordered a wow. fighting game? Because I suck at fighting games, exactly. Because <laughs> this is something that would but, go but, uh, wonderfully. But again, I'm so into something that you guys probably don't know is I do like comic books. Mm-hmm. I do like superhero stories and stuff like that. And get you get you get Batman versus Superman. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I, and and also uh, there's also a skit like a. DLC skin coming out for that, where there is a Russian Superman, <gasps> Russian Wonder That's Woman, <gasps> and Russian Solomon Grundy. You know what? That can actually happen because that meteor did crash in Russia. It's just so true. Su- Superman could have landed in Russia. So Red Sun could have actually I'm taken sorry, place. but it's, it was Vegeta. <laughs> That's, you guys are all wrong on that one. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they've been talking about it a lot on the on the uh, Kevin Smith podcast, especially on the Fat Man on Batman one. Uh, what they did recently with Jeff Johns. Go check it out. Uh, yeah, and I haven't even seen any of the gameplay footage or anything like that. But I watched a little bit on the trailer now. It is just I'm, going, I'm going to suck at playing this game, but I don't care. Because I'm going to be Superman. So this is this is basically um, like the DC versus Mortal Kombat, but less pussified. But- yeah, and they, and they said it's it's going to be better. It's going to be more like Mortal Kombat was. Nice, nice. So. Yeah, I, I heard they were talking about like how how awesome Aquaman's finisher is, for instance. What? Yeah, <laughs> 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 just like Aquaman. What? Awesome. Aquaman. Same sentence. Oh. He throws a dolphin at you and then just it goes <laughs> around. <laughs> no, it's more badass than you think. <laughs> but I do I do like how Doomsday is also in this game. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. So. Bobby. Um, the game I chose this week is something I've been talking about for weeks now. There's a new trailer on on television now, which blew my mind. Oh, dude, yeah. Uh, Bioshock Infinite. I know it's not gameplay footage, but I don't care. Um, mm-hmm. It's still it – just the storyline looks like it's going to be amazing. Um, they, they were talking about the Skyhook this week, and um, I heard I heard that you can go backwards and forwards as fast as you want to. It's not just going to be like on rails like everybody thought it was. You can control where you where you go to. They said you have to j- jump from rail to rail a lot, and that helps with like fighting bosses and stuff like that. Um, they said one of the bosses is going to shock the rail and like knock you off of it to get you off your game and stuff. So I'm I'm really excited to play this game. I just I just think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it looks freaking. Wait, is that gameplay? Yeah, this is gameplay for sure. Yeah, it's gameplay. Yeah. It's just let's just uh, quiet for now pretty. and look at this. Mm, it's pretty. Magic. Mm. It's magic in the sky. And then, and then from the thing I saw, that chick in there is pretty badass too. She's got some mm-hmm. kind of like kinetic uh, kinesis power or something, and just like, did like you, blows people away with it. And did it, you see in the in the uh, trailer on? She she was like hanging by a noose. Yeah. And he like rips the noose off of her. And I was like, what? I can't believe they put that on a TV I know. trailer. Mm-hmm. Apparently, apparently, we can hang people in 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 uh, TV trainers now. So there you go. Um, Why not? They can talk about tampons and yeah, true, and boners and whatnot. So <laughs> we can start hanging I, chicks. Oh. Why not? Right? But yep. uh, exactly. Tampons so. and boners. Navy beans. <laughs> Navy beans. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> what else we got? Sorg, do you have anything? No, I don't really. I don't really. Nothing new's really come up for me um, other than more Angry Birds. Um, should, what should you be playing? How about Angry Birds Space so you can catch the new uh, intro done by Slash of Guns N' Roses? What? Oh, yeah! Wow. So, okay, I know that was, that was kind of cool. I'm like, okay, I'm downloading that. Yep, yep. yep. Well, I've had them anyways. Yeah, hey, you know, other uh, on should you be playing? I believe the uh, Rio... 
uh, and I think the original Angry Birds is now free to download. So oh, wow. if you have, for, I don't know why anybody's not picked those up by now. Uh, on the, I know it's always been free for like you guys on Android and everything, but uh, iOS, you know. But they're really going for that whole like again, like all that crap at the top of my screen. They want you to buy stuff, mm-hmm. so which is like okay, cool. But I just hate, I hate all the clutter, really, you know. So yeah, that's all I got. Hmm. Okay, um, uh, Chachi, you have anything? Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two <laughs> oh, set aside right. the Dallas tournament is this weekend. Are you going to that tournament? Uh, no, I have a life. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I need sponsors. People need to pay me to play video games. We're working on that. We're, we're, you know what? You should try Indiegogo. You get to keep some of the money. No, there's a there's a website. And I, uh, oh, yeah, the other one you were talking about. Wait, wait, wait. We'll get into that some other time. We'll get into that some other time. Oh, All right, what Bobby? is it called? Okay, um, now moving on to our new segment, uh, mm-hmm. Things You Should Be Made Aware Of. <laughs> which I'm sorry, I'm still getting a kick out of that. <laughs> we make you aware of things that you should be aware of. <laughs> actually, Video the, game related the, the, things. The, the, um, we, the we is actually just Bobby. <laughs> you mean uh, like uh, no, we're Dishonored gonna talk about 2? This stuff. Um, like what? Dishonored 2 being announced this week. Really? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I know. Good good that's because corner. it's a thing that you should be aware of. I'm aware now. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, there were a lot of funny video game related uh, videos that were li- released today. Um, today? There's the today. one half of the uh, Indoor Kids podcast, Kamel Nanjiani, stand up comedian. He's on a couple different shows. Um, he has a new series on Funny or Die. Um, called Playdate with Kamel Nanjiani. This week, he released four episodes of it. Um, it's all about the video game Gears of War Judgment that came out. Um, in one of the, in one of the uh, videos, he was talking to and playing a game, uh, Gears of War Judgment with an old elderly man. <laughs> uh, it's really funny. Um, there's okay, another I'm segment interested. where he, he met up with uh, Civil War reenactors. And judgment ju- or Gears of War judgment uh, reenactors or, or LARPers on the same day. They had this. They 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 both rented the battlefield out at the same time, so they just joined forces. Um, and another one. That there were four episodes about to explode. <laughs> yeah, there were four. There were four other ones that. Or there were four episodes that were released. Um, I've seen three of them. Another one he, he reenacted Gears of War Judgment. Uh, which was the running theme of all these episodes this week? Mm-hmm. Uh, they reenacted it in a play, which it, that was pretty good too. Are these but, um, are, are these by chance sponsored by uh, Gears of War? I, I think so. I think okay. they're sponsored by Gears of War or, or Xbox. Okay, <laughs> one of those other ones. Well, that's cool. I mean, um, they're crea- I don't care if you're 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 trying to sell me something as long as you're doing it in an entertaining way. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. It, they're like long ads, but they're hilarious. I thought, um, mm-hmm. and you should you could check those out at funnyordie dot com or ign dot com. Um, another thing, Kotaku put up uh, terrible video game dubs, and we're gonna play two of them for you. Um, one is Mega Man Eight, which we all know and love, mm-hmm. the Mega Man franchise, but the voice acting in this was so terrible, epically bad. Sorg. All right, this one to play from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this one. Oh. How's it going? Will it be okay? Are these actual I'm dubs? Finished. Yes. Yes. <laughs> charged in these ones minutes. are classically bad. <laughs> That's good. By the way, what do you make of these? These? Seems to be energy resources. Hmm. <laughs> but I've never seen this type on Earth. I don't know where this energy came from, but... And not let it fall into Dr. Wowie's hands. <laughs> Dr. Wowie. 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 Hey, here's the best part. Oh. Man? But where is Dr. Oh, Wowie? That's a good question. <laughs> we may be able to locate another energy. <laughs> <from the radar laughs> room. Is it, is is it guy, like a Japanese guy trying to speak English? I don't know. He flubs. At one point, Wowie. he flubs up the line and but keeps going. He's like, hey, hey, Mega 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 Man. <laughs> he keeps going, <laughs> and it didn't change or re-record it at all. Wow! Okay. And Bobby, you're green. There we go. We're back. <laughs> the, the, the audio listeners didn't care, sir. And then the next one is um, Chaos Wars. It's called. I've never heard of this game, but 
they actually got a six year old kid to record voice acting. <laughs> oh for no! This. Oh no! <laughs> it's it's really really bad. Hey hey wait! Just wait a sec. Hey, listen to me, okay? I'm it. I broke your cup, and I know that was your favorite cup too. <laughs> wow! I feel slightly bad. Are you even considering apologizing? So let's just calm down. And you stop punching me as an iron ball in your fish. And it's just him reading the text, and there's Maybe no action. Oh. If you're on, if you're on audio, this is one of those RPG things where it's just like, craft dude, tomorrow. craft dude. Who are you? I'm the king of Illusion. We got the interns king to do Tanaki. this, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. I'm <laughs> the king of Illusion. Oh, man. Um, and our final our final video you should be aware of is uh, Toby Turner, a uh, YouTube sensation, um, does literal trailers. Uh, he has his newest one up. He hasn't done one for a long time. Um, his newest one is uh, God of War Ascension. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you, you can check that out on YouTube. And he basically, what he does for these little tra literal trailers, he takes the trailer and the music and sings what's actually happening in the trailer. Okay. So if you want to play a little snippet of that. And daddy's got a lot of guys to kill today. He's got to pay mommy's ring off. Child lease was next paid day. Hot mom can only run a couple feet. Mom's behind them weed. Run and close up everyone's it, This is the early, this is the one you've probably seen on TV where it's just like soldiers and the family. And the kids walking the this is the extended version. Better kill up feet, stab weed, way to beat. Daddy standing on a retail lead for everybody be killed. Run up a steep hill, slow mo look at And they do a bunch of these? Yeah, he does, he does a whole bunch of them. He's That's had awesome. like a, a Skyrim one, he's had just tons of them. That's awesome. So, and um, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's worth subscribing to. He's really, he's really funny. He has a, a, a video blog he does every day. Uh, so, yeah. Go check out Tobuscus at uh, youtube.com slash Tobuscus, I think it is. Uh, from the chat, there's a, a thing you should be aware of uh, from okay. Antonio Garza. He says, uh, Fakemon, a 4chan developed version of Pokemon. It's actually good. Oh, wow. So there you go. Yeah, oh, check that out. Too, there's well. another thing that you should be aware of mm -hmm. is uh, the fact that in Call of Duty League, um, if you win a match, they're giving you 10,000 experience points. Oh, wow. If wow. you lose a match, you're getting 7,500 experience points. Have you yet to That's figure out if that was a glitch dip. yet? I have no idea. I it, I mean, they did an update today, um, and it's still happening. Nice. So so you're, like, leveling up like crazy. Um, uh, the last time I played, what, Wednesday or Tuesday? No, <laughs> Monday. Uh, I got bored, and I decided to go back in the league, and I... Uh, I went from Prestige 7 level 18 to Prestige 7 level uh, 28 wow. um, in a matter like of half hour. Triple, triple XP. Yeah. So. <laughs> triple XP weekend! Right <laughs> What's that? Are you playing right now? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm paying attention right. to this lovely, Chachi. lovely podcast. Chachi, yes. are you aware that we can see what's on yeah, your screen in your glasses? Your glasses Chachi. Right now. You are lying. You're wearing Google Glass. <laughs> you're, wearing, you're wearing the Call of Duty glasses. <laughs> I am not. Now you can't see anything on your screen. You're going to play like shit. <laughs> now it's in your Call of Duty glasses. Okay, so I'm playing Citadel. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. I have the Penguins game on mute, so I'm guilty too. <laughs> I have you guys. All I get to look at is you guys and myself. Uh, you don't even have Chachi in studio this week. No, I didn't even look at him. I am oh, sorry. My. And this is why he's playing Call of Duty. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next segment, which is the news. Please. Um, this week, the big news story has everybody in the PC gaming world up in arms. Uh, Sim City came out this week, <laughs> and about five people got to play it. More like limped out, right? <laughs> oh man! So, uh, can we say Crash of the Year? This is bad. All right, for those, that, okay, I, the, Bobby. As soon as you're done with big gulp, there, uh, okay, can, you, can you fill us in? <laughs> 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 sorry, I just moved in. And you had said this giant. Gulp. <laughs> you're sipping from it's tea. It's, 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 have a giant tea. But it was looked like a giant. It's a giant Pepsi cup. Like I like you just got a big big gulp of. <laughs> I'm a fat guy. What do you expect? 
<laughs> that shit doesn't fly in New York City, sir. No. All right. Actually, it does. They canceled that. Oh. Yeah. Yay. Stop canceling my jokes with reality, Bobby. What? Tell us, like, oh. what, what happened with SimCity? What is the general story here for those that may be not caught up? Okay. SimCity, they released this week on, um, I, what's the, uh, Origin, which is um, EA's server kind of like steam Mm -hmm. you have to be connected online at all times they have servers set up which is okay but you have to have it's okay for multiplayer i would say but not for people who just want to play by themselves Mm -hmm. like if you'd want to play this game you have to be online at all times because of that stupid drm which is for with DRM is like uh, so you can't pirate the game. No, um, wait a minute. I, mean, yes. I don't think we need to clarify because I don't think it's just DRM is the issue here. The thing is, this is like parts of the game are social, right? And yes, yes it does. does need to check into the server, but it oh. seems that parts of the game that you need to interact with, even for a one on, you know, just you playing, needs mm-hmm. to be offloaded on a server. Like part, it, it sounds like part of this game is cloud based. And the servers are getting overrun. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not a matter. It doesn't. It seems like it's more than a matter of like like uh, there was a problem with I think it was Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Two, where I have no reason whatsoever to have this thing attached to the internet except I want to buy something as an add-on, right? Mm-hmm. But for whatever reason, it needs to check in with the server to say, oh yeah, this is legit. You can play it. Right. It, that, now, in, in contrast, SimCity is saying, I have an online component. I do need to check in in order to do this because we're actually doing some stuff, not just on your computer, to make your game work. Does that, does right. that seem accurate, guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is a whole other situation than, than what we normally see with DLC. Uh, yeah. This is a server load problem. I mean, it's not an obvious thing like a World of Warcraft kind of situation, like a Diablo 3 kind of situation, but it does seem like it's a load error. It's like, guys, it's SimCity. Of course, everybody's going everybody's to buy it. That's why you made the mm-hmm. thing, right? Um, somebody messed up in server capacity here. Oh. Somebody didn't carry the one and it so, screwed everybody so, over. So, so, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. EA messed up a downloadable content? What? What? Surprise! What? 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 No. The, no. Not EA. <laughs> not downloadable content. Servers more, don't crash for EA. More yeah. like servers don't crash. Man, wait, EA, wait, aren't these the guys that couldn't handle an iPhone game with tapped out? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, no, they're, I think, seriously, is a big company trying to cut corners, and they're not, a, they're not out buying enough server space for this stuff. Or they're not—they're not—they're not, they're not applying the right math to to say, "Hey, this many people might be able might want to play this game and take up this much server load," and they're yeah. they're trying to slim it. And they now, oh, good, good. Well, now they've they've disabled certain features of the game mm-hmm. so they can free up server space and stuff. EA, EA disables cheetah speed, other yeah. features to re- relieve uh, uh, SimCity uh, servers. Yeah, uh, so now they're cutting features to cut down on that load. So again, part of this game is happening offline, regardless of I have the disc, I should be able to play it. I have it installed, I should be able to play it. No, mm-hmm. you, you know it's like World of Warcraft. Azeroth exists not on your computer. Okay, mm-hmm. um, this wow. Hold on. What? Wow. What? Go Sorg. What? You just made a correct War of Warcraft reference having never <laughs> played the game. You know, for for one thing, I've played like all the Warcrafts beforehand, so I understand the concept, okay? And even though I'm not there in World of Warcraft, I'm listening. Um, <laughs> what, what would Leora Jenkins do? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, no, I've been, I've been very... Well, I've never dove into the world of Azeroth in a 3D sense, just the isomorphic uh, top-down setting. Uh, no, I, I pay a lot of attention to it, because I think it's really fascinating, the, the social and video game implications of what they've been doing there for the last few years. So, And Panda Karate? Come on. Um, <laughs> okay, our, our next story... Um, Wait, we're done with that story? Oh, no, well, if you want to continue I thought there was it, plenty of conversation to have in there, and I yeah, kind of took yeah. it over. Well, that, that, that's actually our boss... Part of our boss uh, battle too here. Okay, okay. So we'll we'll move on and then we'll come back. Oh, okay. So, okay, our next story is um, Call of Duty is introducing free to play like DLC for Call of Duty games. What? Hmm? Yes, um, they announced today they're going to introduce 
custom reticles, custom uh, gun stuff, stuff like paint for your gun and stuff like that. Um, custom like tags, clan tags and stuff like that. Okay. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna affect um, the gameplay at all. So but, it's just visual stuff. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, cosmetic stuff basically. Wait, wait, wait. But you can are, wait. Wait. Okay. You can create your own reticles now. I I don't I think they're going to make available more custom oh, based oh. reticles like that they made. I don't think you're going to be able to make your own. Now, are you seeing these are free because I I I looked up just to find uh, no, a new no, story. No, like. no, it's going to be like the free to play style where you have to pay for different things. Like you, you oh. play the game and you buy the the extra stuff. That's what okay. I mean. Oh, okay. so it's like I, it's like any Facebook or iPhone game. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Free. Okay. It's, but it's yeah, like all those guns. Hey. No, no, it's interesting. Okay, so I, I brought up a list of what's going to be available apparently tomorrow. <laughs> um, personalization packs, uh, 160 Microsoft points, buys you a custom pack of you know, reticles, uh, camo, and a calling card for your pleasure. Uh, Nuketown 2025 uh, is actually <laughs> now free for everybody. Yay! So all you well, wait, wait, didn't we get that? We had that. We yeah, we all had that from having an yeah, early we copy, have that anyway. right? Because this yeah. says it, was, it says it was a pre-order perk. No, the original plan with that was to uh, release it for everyone after all of the releases. Oh, okay. Came we out. just got a, a head heads up yeah. on it. Okay, no, uh, Nuketown Zombies uh, uh, is avail- is going to be available for four hundred. Uh, extra slots pack for a one sixty. Uh, and a flags of world calling card packs for eighty Microsoft yeah. points. So I maybe mean, I could finally use that odd number of points I have in there. That's yeah, but is it just 80. like taking advantage of gamers? Like, what poor saps are going to pay for this stuff? You Let's know what? The poor saps for everything that spend all this time and, and 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 everything and customize the crap out of their game and basically yeah. live in this game until the next Call of Duty comes out. That's who's going to pay for it, man. Yeah. This is the are same you calling people. Me a poor sap? I'm not calling Chachi <laughs> a poor sap with this statement because I don't think he would do this. Um, I'm saying that, oh. like these are the same people that are going to buy a Fubu shirt for their avatar. Okay, I mean that the, there there's a market for that. Some people think that's really fun. Fun and interesting to do. To just kind of take, take out their stuff for like. Sword, why months. are you looking at my avatar? Not... Wait, you can buy a Fubu shirt for your avatar? I'm pretty sure you can. Like, you uh, can buy I, like branded merchandise for your avatars. Yeah. I know they were talking about when they started. I think I saw like Nike stuff. I don't, I don't think Fubu's yeah. on there though. Uh, I don't know Fubu. Maybe it's Pubu. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but but you, you said like NHL stuff's in there. That makes sense. You know, NFL stuff. I'm sure is in there too. Um, but yeah, there's definitely branded stuff in there. So, yeah. So I'm kind of, okay. I'm kind of hoping the avatar carries over like exclu- right over to the next Xbox and everything. So like I, I put all that money in here. So can I, can I do that again with the games too? I, I wish at least like the downloadable games are at least transferable, you know, if not like obviously the discs or something. But. Yeah. All right. So uh, now we move on to our boss battle, which we're going to go back to the SimCity question. Uh, what do you think of an always-on connection to play games? Sorg. I'm sorry. I was looking at this gift that's in the chat room. Oh, no. What was, this? What was the question? <laughs> what do you think of having an always-on uh, connection to play games? We're talking about the need for it in something like SimCity? Yes. Well, I think... I I think uh, something like that. Um, obviously, you need something like that for something like Black Ops, Call of Duty. Uh, you know, uh, if you want to go visit Azeroth, um, as they do, I, I think it's needed more and more, and it's more expected. Uh, I think we're getting to the point that if you're playing video games, or technically savvy enough to be playing video games, you're probably in a place where you can get enough internet to do these things. Right? Um, we're always going to have the people cut off, but uh, it, it's becoming less and less. Um, I don't think it's a problem until it's a problem. And I think we're still going through the growing pains of that problem. Um, the reason Xbox isn't going to go digital only is because they, they're still solving these issues. You know, the reason OnLive didn't pick up is because we're still solving these issues. And not everybody's accessible to something like that. That's my answer. So, so do you think, this is going to be off topic a little bit, but PS4, mm-hmm. is that doomed because they don't, because they don't, there's no, Unless they have the technology to do something like that? Well, the problem is, I think... I'm always iffy with stuff like this because I always think somebody is going to be cut off. You know? Mm. There's always somebody that does not have good internet. You know? Mm. Um, and I think also... Nebraska. And there's all... Yeah, like Nebraska. 
<laughs> and you're always going to have people that have a, and we have this goes on a tech problem to, to begin with. We see this already with cell phones. Obviously, we're seeing this uh, with a lot of ISPs as well, especially as we keep streaming media with Netflix and everything. You have a bandwidth cap if you're on Comcast. A lot of other guys have them too. They're like 200 gigabytes or something like that. But as we use the internet more and more to do our gaming, to to replace our cable with our Netflix and Amazon streaming and, and whatever we're doing, we're going to get to this point where that's going to butt up against with these caps they're putting on us. Um, that and then people are going to say, well, and it's going to scare people away from these really cool innovations in video games, video, and all this other stuff we're doing online. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's the concern. And and I think uh, there needs to be, like, a nexus here where, like, you know, Sony and Microsoft and all these guys and the Netflixes and the Hulus are going to, you know, go head-to-head with the Comcasts and the AT&Ts and the Verizons that are trying to cap our internet and make more money off of us, you know, what's going to happen? In order, in, order, in order for us to pay for and enjoy this stuff over here, all this content, we're going to have to pay the fat pipes over here. So are you, are you doing uh, puppets? Shadow puppet boxing. All right, move on, move on. I'm done. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go back to look at this GIF. Yeah, I, I don't. I was saving the gift. So uh, the gift. So can I can I save an anime gif as my desktop? Yes, you can. Right click, save. Oh. Shit. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you just yeah. see if this will happen. <laughs> yeah. So um, the I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> save image as. Oh my, we are grown adults. <laughs> yes, I latte grown adults. But origin. Yeah. Origin's a different story, getting back on topic. Okay. Yeah, because, <laughs> Thanks, now we're done with the shadow puppets. Because EA, EA runs it. And like I said before, EA's not good with <laughs> DLCs. Yes, thank you, EA. The guys that can't even make my Simpson game on the phone work with their servers and decides they're going to deliver content to me digitally and replace stream? Good luck. Good luck, guys. And the thing is, it's not available they, on Steam. Yeah, yeah. It, and, and and actually, Amazon was canceling orders mm-hmm. for it. They were like slowing down the o- amount of orders people were well, having. They, they canceled orders for it um, because they're like, "Hey, there's a problem. We don't want to be selling something that doesn't work to people." Which I think mm-hmm. good on Amazon. Now they uh, basically, I think they restored it with a notice. Hey, there's a problem with this. If you're buying it, it's at your own risk. Yeah. So I, well, I think the whole I, thing is. First off, can we point out that SimCity isn't an online always game? No, it shouldn't be, right? Can we throw that out there? Mm-hmm. And secondly, I think- Amazon uh, slowed down orders because it quickly became the worst-rated product in Amazon history. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, so, I mean, there's that. And, yeah, it, it all goes back to EA being a bunch of dumbasses. Yes. I I can't say how much trouble I've had overall with EA's DLCs for multiplayer for Mass Effect. And it's just gets to the point where every new download I do, I get. Everybody else has it. Everybody else wants to go on Origin, which is their, like you said, their little thing. And it crashes everything and you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So they have to get their shit together. Hmm? There's a reason something like Steam works and is mm. popular because it works. I don't think about it, you know. Um, I buy a Mac because I want my computer to just work and not think about it. I go on Steam to buy a game because I'm not worried about that game disappearing mm-hmm. or yes. not being able to download it. I can think of like maybe two times they had a, a server downage bad enough I couldn't get to a game. And that's in how many years? And remember, Plus, EA won the Golden Poop Award. Golden Poop yeah. Award. Mm. Um, yeah. Another thing, I know a lot of people that are going back to SimCity 4 as opposed to SimCity just because they're tired of dealing with the crap. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, everybody was like, oh, yeah, remember that game? That was fun to play, and you can actually play it. Mm-hmm. So let's play that one. <laughs> All right. I think that does it for us this week. Um, you What's can the follow us. What? What's the challenge? Oh, the challenge. What, what is the challenge, guys? What's the challenge? <laughs> Angry Birds, Angry Birds. You know what? It's free. Yeah, it's everybody. So let's throw Angry Birds, Angry Birds one. 
Yeah, it looks like it's free for everybody any, in the iOS Angry app store. Uh, well, actually, the original. Let's go with the original. Go back to the source. Or, if you, or, or play it again for the first time. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, I actually do have Angry Birds. Okay. So Angry Birds is our challenge for this week. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, that'll do it for uh, Bobby FJ Town, Sorg, Riz, and Chachi. What up? Uh, this has been Let's Play. Game over. I should go. Snake, what happened? Snake, snake.